Hi, welcome back to Metal Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Matt Gibbons. I'm Jeff Rappaport. And I'm Vlad from another Vendetta. And in the news, Azura Remote. Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why don't you pronounce Mike's last name for us? Hukrovec? Mike Hukrovec? Hukrovec? You know, um, JJ. JJ is one of, my be one of my best friends, and I still can't pronounce his name. Yes. I'm sorry. We just hung out with him two weeks ago. Yeah, I just call him JJ, and thank God you don't have to refer to people as their last names. He does a guest solo on this project. He okay. does. He does. I'm sure it's excellent because he's an amazing guitar player. But uh, Mike, excellent vocalist. Mm -hmm. uh, he's sings for Monstrosity. And Vile. Vile. Correct, yes. That was imitation <laughs> yes, of him. That was, that was Dio's imitation of Mike singing. Down, down, get down. You know what the way I like about Mike? Mike will come up to you and he'll just go like this and go. The pal? Uh, I like Yeah, that. he does a little death metal like. Here, I'll give it a. Yeah, he does one of those things, right? Does he do it to you every time you see you, Dave? Who? JJ's brother gives you one of those. Ugh. I've never met him. Yes, you have. What are you talking about, you liar? <laughs> Will he be at the party? I don't know. Is Mike, JJ even coming? JJ is JJ's coming. coming right. yes. So, uh, Mike is, uh, you know, he's a really talented artist as well. Yes. He does a lot of, if you see a lot of death metal covers, he does a lot of the artwork for them. Yes. He's done uh, covers for Sinister, uh, Grave, Cattle Decapitation. We actually learned that, learned, uh, that uh, on one of the Grave covers, Sean's on one of the covers that he drew. Yeah. Sean, were you there for that? I think so. They were talking to Old Head? Or... or no, 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 oh, no, we were talking to um, Rumpel Sulsengrinder. We were talking to the, the, um, Matt Moore, who's also an Absu, too. He was telling us that, that Sean's actually in the thing. But he's done covers for Hate Eternal, Decrepit Birth, Mortician. Butthole and, Assassin. He has not done Butthole Assassin yet, but I'm sure it's in his future. Yes. Yes, because no, any chance of that. Uh, his, so he's got a new album out from, this is kind of like his, it's kind of like his baby. This is kind yeah. of like a side project kind of thing. Um... I'm going to screw up the name of this. It's just like the last name. You know, I, Mike, I hope you don't hate me by the end of this clip. <laughs> the Gravity of Impermanence? Impermanence, yes. I did that right? I think so. Yes. Yes. Release date? Do you have it? Yes. So anyways, uh, April 3rd. <laughs> the, the, the new album that he has, is, it's, it's got a bunch of like guest stars from Death, Fear Factory, Monstrosity, Tristania, Rupsless Grinder, Hate Eternal. I mean, there's like all kinds of people put their stuff together in this. Uh, mm -hmm. It's really like crazy. Yeah. Like the CD is like crazy, right? Well, I, didn't, I don't know if I heard anything from the new one, but I, I, found, oh, you did? Other, I found a couple of clips of their stuff because this is their second album. Uh, my note was all over the place, but in a good way. I actually thought the craziness worked, actually. It's, it, it wasn't incoherent in my view. It was like a... Plan, I that was guess a long dead silence. Yeah, and I, the best word I can come up was plan. That's the sad thing. Well, what I heard was like it was uh, a pregnant pause. It was a sasur. I like the last album, but from the pieces I heard from this one, it's like I think it's like a, a, a whole huge step, even better. Really? Okay. Yeah, cool. and and like I'm not always like the first to embrace like you know like the, yeah, like you're not... the Beauty and the Beast type metal because it's like you got the uh, the the opera type singing on here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it's not like that though. It has like I actually wrote a, a thing of what I called it. It was I said. This it would be like if death metal, opera, and Middle Eastern music had a baby and then it dropped acid. I like it. That's pretty cool. Go on. I was gonna say something. It, it, I was in, it, like, I've heard like one track. And to me, it just sounds like, like, epically chaotic. Like just so chaotic but so well put together. Right. But it's, I don't know, kind of has like different levels or it just gets like very intense and I, I definitely see where he had like the opera-ness in it. Yeah. So. It, so, so that was right then. Yeah. That, like, yeah. So that was actually a pretty good uh, yeah. thing. Because it was like, it's like so much is going on, like all these combinations are going on, but then it was like almost like you're tripping. But like, like it's like you said, as chaotic as it sounds, as chaotic as it should be, mm -hmm. it still kind of like works together. Yeah. Like, like which is... Not always happens. Sometimes it sounds like people are just taking I stuff. I get it. Right. It's a good way to put it. Sometimes people are saying, put, putting a million things together, and it's like, oh my God, why are they doing this? 
and it's just like a fucking train wreck. But somehow, it's crazy as everything thrown together. It just sounds it sounds cool. Yeah, I like it. so. So I was definitely digging it, and and Ryan's like shredding on there. Mm. I thought it was actually some of Ryan's best work, which is kind of you know, like Ryan plays with a lot of different bands. Yeah, and uh, Ryan count. Mole, that is. Forty three at last count. Forty three at last count. Yeah, actually forty nine. Forty nine. Okay. Yeah. Wow. He's joined six more bands, and that. Yeah. That's a lot. So also on here, you got uh, Mike Heller playing drums, uh, Kelly Conlin on bass. Peter Johansson on violin and electric violin. Sandra Loriano on vocals. I'm pronouncing all your names wrong, I'm sure. Uh, Bruce Lamont on saxophone. Jo Jonah Weingarten on, yes, guitar. Yes, finally. Yes. Somebody that appreciates guitar. Somebody Good on you, Mike. Okay. Yeah. Right? Okay. JJ does a guest guitar solo. Yes, he does. He's a good guy. And Jason Ian Vaughn Eckert on guest guitar. Electronic programming. Oh. Guest electronic programming. Yeah. He's not the full time electronic programmer. He's just the guy they had come in and do it. Yeah. Session work. Sorry. So, uh, I, I liked it a lot. I enjoyed it. Uh, it's, it's a must purchase for me, actually. And you actually enjoyed it as well? Yeah. So, yeah, like, three so thumbs up. That's so good. Don't be afraid to step outside the boundaries. Sometimes yeah. it works. Folks. Don't be afraid to take your death metal, grab some opera, some Middle Eastern yeah. music, and then. And then get a saxophone and, player. And then, then impregnate. Yeah. Someone make a baby and then give the baby acid. Yes, right. because that is what. <laughs> then you will then have a Zora emote. Yes, throw him a saxophone and a guitar as well. Yes, and throw that in. So I, and I guess electrical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like maybe maybe it'd be better if death metal, opera, and Middle Eastern music had a baby and Don Johnson came in and played Heartbreak, <laughs> Heartbeat. What's the thing? Heartbeat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So that's what I have. That's what we have on our Zora emote. Totally.